It's time for three more what the fucks. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the castle cast. We're glad you passed by. You get the right time. We had an all time high. Bubbles, hot toys, and chimes. Don't mind. Stick around. Like, comment, and be sure to subscribe because life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. And remember, if you travel walls, we are together. Yes. As you all probably know, we are the most negative Funko YouTube channel out there, That's according true. to Twitter at least. Yeah. If you like our negative goodness, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also hit the like button because liking this video will spread the negativity to all of YouTube. And subscribing will allow you to see more negative things from the negative Gasocast. I'm sort of like puzzled by a couple things. One thing doesn't even have to do with Funko though. What? Yeah, but it's something for Funko fans to look out for or collectors to look out for. One thing does have to do with Funko, and then, well, the thing that you have has to do with Funko, too. You want to start off with my thing? Yeah, well, let, let's start off. Let's see your thing. Oh. This is the thing that I'm talking about. This guy right here. Don't and it's our first don't. WTF. And you want to know why it's our first WTF? It's because when they released the first two iterations of this character, they were limited and super hard to get. And now this mother is flying around like a common ass bird. Well, he's not an ass bird, he's just a toucan. If you were there for that drop, oh my God. First of all, you're probably bald because you ripped all of your hair out back then. You wanna know what that drop did to our house? My friend threw a chair at the wall and put a big dent in it. And I had to fix it. This is not a joke, it really happened. If you are interested in learning about the very first Toucan Sam debacle, there is a link in the description below that'll show you all of our frustration put into one Gasocast video, and honestly, it was a lot of fun. Those two pops broke the Funko website. So they originally dropped uh, just a, I mean, a common looking Toucan Sam. Both Funko pops did crash the website, and I was actually able to get the very first Toucan Sam. I remember that. Heather traded my toucan, Sam, <sighs> which made me very sad because it was like, oh, 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 watch that little mouth, mm. that dirty, little, filthy mouth. It's clean. I brush my teeth today, unlike you. Okay, well, he's not as expensive as I remember him. Heather traded for a zombie Merle. 165. You're lying. 135. So you actually made a pretty good deal. Hmm, there we go. Well, boy, don't I feel stupid. You should. You look stupid, too. But I really like that Funko Pop. It was really cool. And I it think is it a was, really cool It pop. was like uh, a 400 count? No, it wasn't. Well, I don't think it actually had a limit. It didn't? I don't think so. I think it just had a Funko exclusive sticker. Oh, my God. Well, Whatever the metallic was, one I believe that did one have a limit limited. of 1,000 pieces. Yeah. That was $310. But to make this one... So common and basic is Hold frustrating. Hold on! You just made a huge deal about my trade. And then you're just glossing over it. What do you mean I didn't gloss over it? I made a great trade, and if I wanted, Decent. I could trade Zombie Merle today and get a Toucan Sam plus something else. Maybe even two somethings, depending on what they're worth. Back when you did it, it was worth a lot more. I just want to put that out there. You would have looked so stupid two years ago. You don't even eat Fruit Loops, but guess what? I love The Walking Dead. I can't eat them. Why? They make me follow my nose, and it led me to you. I do put out very strong farts. So yeah, this is like a slap in the face. I mean, not only is it Toucan Sam, but he appears to be a bit more colorful than the original, if like my eyes are seeing correctly, but also he's in a action pose, babe. He's flying around. I mean, he's a cool looking pop. I just he's wish... He's flying around I, I wish it was limited or he did something special with it. Dropped him on Funko.com. It looks like it's just going to be a random comment. I don't know. I like the good old days when ad icons were dropped on Funko.com and people were fighting each other to get the damn things. Mm -hmm. Not no mo. Yeah, especially like the ad icons in the boxes. Like, not just the mascot, but like the actual box of the item. Like the cereal box. Yeah. Ugh. 
the cereal box has like eyes and arms and legs and stuff. I don't like they even that. did like a Kraft macaroni and cheese pie. I know, I don't want of it. the box. Don't remind me. Like it wasn't even a noodle yeah. with eyes. Like it was the box. No. So our second WTF, a couple of days ago, Funko did this really weird drop and I don't understand it. So normally they'll put up one Funko exclusive and you either like it or you don't, you buy it or you don't. But this time they put up three. Typically when they put up multiple, it's for like a special event sort of thing that's announced like a couple weeks in advance. This drop has three items, two of which sort of make sense, but the other one's like the odd man out. So you got a Mickey Mouse soda and a Minnie Mouse soda, and they're both in like swim gear, beach gear sort of thing, sunglasses. But then there's a Groot in his pajamas. Three Disney owned licenses. Okay, but one's Marvel and one, two are Disney. That's fine. No! Two sodas and a, a big old three liter. You got all your soda items together as a, a, a grouping. I get it, but like, I don't. Like, drop the Groot and then drop the Minnie and Mickey together. Like, it's just so weird to me. Mm, I didn't think it was I'm that just, weird. You know why it's in this video? Because I was like, WTF. So the two sodas are actually pretty interesting. It's a Mickey and a Minnie, like in summer wear. Mm -hmm. And then they have chases that are black light that look really great. And then there's a Groot 3 liter that has like a nice looking uh, pajamas wearing Groot. And then the chase is a translucent one. The translucent one actually looks really cool. And that's the reason why I went after them today. I bought two. Just just to see if we can get ourselves one. Do you not realize our luck with three liter sodas? Like you never get a chance. Uh, I did it with Hulk one time. Uh, yeah, after how many did you buy? Uh, 15, but let's not count. But yeah, I thought this was a very weird drop. It wasn't like, oh, hey, this is like our summer drop. It was just like, here's two summer mice and then a weird large Groot that's angry in like winter pajamas. Like these aren't even summer pajamas. Well, that drop wasn't bad at all. And I don't know why Heather even pointed that out. That was definitely not a WTF. That was a win, Funko. You did a good job. I really like the lineup on Funko.com. That was cool. And they were limited pieces. I liked it, but it was weird. It was just random. And they're looking at you because you're weird. It would be different if that three liter was like goofy or something that made sense. The third one is a WTF for Amazon. I haven't even told you about this. In case you miss it, we went to a con over the last weekend and I purchased two Tortuga U2s on Amazon.com. And they, yeah, they come in boxes. They're very similar to Funko boxes, except they have this little outer sleeve. I don't know where my actual boxes are, but they're not the most sturdy boxes. So when I went to place my order, it says, item often ships in manufacturer's container to reduce packaging and reveals what's inside. To change, click below. So basically they would put a shipping label on the U2's box and just deliver it to your front porch. But if you wanted to change it, you could hit the drop down menu. So it says reduce packaging, ship in manufacturer's container, or it says hide what's inside, ship in Amazon packaging. So you mean they'll ship it just in the box? Yes, reduce packaging, ship in manufacturer's container. So basically it would be shipped within the U2's box. They would slap a label on the U2's box. Oh my God. Yeah, so I expected that when I clicked, you know, hide what's inside, ship in Amazon packaging, yeah. they would send it in a box and they'd come protected. They sent them in a bag. Oh my God. So yeah, that's crazy. And that's definitely something for you guys to keep an eye on. I just wanted to like let people know about it in case their Funko Pops maybe come that way because I have seen like weird things happen with Amazon. That is a really weird option. Yeah, it is. Like your collectibles should just be protected. Like it would be one thing if it were anything else, but like collectibles, that's a big old WTF. Do you got any more WTFs? Because apparently my second one didn't fit your WTF criteria. My real third WTF is Chris's face because what the f Oh, okay, that's not cool at all. I actually have our second WTF, the one that you up. I didn't 
get up. It's not my fault that you feel that Groot and Mickey and Minnie pair perfectly together. You're just stupid. You're stupid. You wish. Why would I wish that? You're right, I am stupid. I married ya. Okay, well, speaking of stupid, Entertainment Earth posted this. Restocking soon! Yeah, so that one account on Instagram said that there would be no more waves. It would just be first wave and done, which Funko did mention on their first quarter earnings call. They said that they weren't making as much product anymore because, well, they had to throw a bunch in the trash. So what happened? I don't know if like Funko is effing with us, if Entertainment Earth is effing with us. I don't know why there's a restock unless they didn't put out everything they had at first and now they have more. Apparently it's supposed to be one wave and done. And this was the Funko Pop set to do that. The Gremlins Gizmo and the Gremlins Gremlin. Did they just assume that or did Funko straight up tell them that? Because there's a difference. If, if those people assumed it, well, that's not right. That's on them. But if Funko told them that, then maybe it's just a way for Funko to bamboozle people and try to sell more product. I'm thinking that Funko's doing some shady behind the scenes and they're lying in order to sell more product. But they've already been caught lying, allegedly, multiple times. Now they're currently in a lawsuit and they were in a lawsuit before that they had to pay a lot of money to get out of. Anytime I hear the words lawsuit, I always think of Robocop. A law-abiding robot and a he's law wearing a lawsuit. A law-enforcing robot, robot and he's wearing the lawsuit anyway. This is trash! And I just wanna thank two people out there for sending us two sets of these. You guys are amazing. Our friend Amy, and also a small company that I'm not able to name here. They wanted to remain anonymous, but you know who you are, so thank you. They don't want to be known for doing good deeds. They just do good deeds and do good business. All right, so what do you think about all of our WTFs? One thing we did not mention earlier is that you can buy this guy right now on Amazon, and we're going to put the link down in the description below. Additionally, we're going to be giving away one of these figures because we got it signed by Danny Trejo himself, and this thing is friggin' awesome. Heather decided to get his face signed instead of the box signed, and I think that's brilliant. Yeah, and it's also authenticated by JSA, which we need uh, to talk about. Oh, that's a whole other video. video. Yeah, we got a JSA story, it's crazy, so tune in again, hit the subscribe button, we got a lot coming your way. But anyway, what do you think about all those WTFs? What is your favorite WTF? We would love to know all that and more in the comment section down below. In every video, we like to shout out to some of our incredible patrons from Patreon. In this video, we'd like to shout out to Keith Clow, Big Papa Tulan, Clown Splendid, Yazrai Castillo, Kevin Maxa, Al, Joshua Lerndahl, Brandon Roy, Brendan Rao, and ralphiesfunhouse.com. Thank you all so much for your continued support. We really appreciate all of our patrons from Patreon. You are amazing. And if you're interested in supporting us more than a like or a comment, head over to patreon.com to find out all the ways that you can support this channel and all of the fun perks that you get in return. And my personal favorite is our monthly Zoom call with our patrons. We get, I don't wanna say a one-on-one -on -one with patrons, but you actually get to talk to us and we can talk to you and it is so much fun and there's giveaways and some sneak peeks at mischief toy stuff if you like mischief toys it's so much fun patreon.com slash castlecast check out poppingofftoys.com it is wes's birthday bash and he's giving away a bunch of his grails go and check them out at poppingofftoys.com spend twenty dollars for your chance at a grail again check them out poppingofftoys.com and surround that funko pop in some protection goodness from seven bucks a pop.com they have pop shield armors that are absolutely amazing with a magnetic top and are thick and sturdy and keep your Funko Pops protected. Check them out, 7 bucksapopcom All right, it's that time again. Remember, as always, we are together, I guess. We'll catch you next time. Bye.